Hello and welcome back, I'm Magic Luma. We're playing some more Civilization 6 with Gilgamesh of Samaria. So, we are consolidating currently. We're not actually doing much to do with war. Which is probably a good thing. We are building a knight over here. Uh, that was for a city-state, right? I think, yes. Got to do something about these missionaries. Um... Yeah. They're not actually converting anything, you know. We can purchase another missionary. I don't think that's necessary. We're sending this guy down over to Eridu right now. Uh, let's go ahead and pick probably naval tradition. Mm. Hang on a moment. So we just got divine right. That's good. That's very good. Uh, that's right, we got the fantastic uh, Monty Python quote at the end of the last episode, after I'd stopped talking, which was good. I love that quote. Um, reformed church would definitely be something. We're not going to get two markets uh, for <laughs> forever, so probably working our way towards guilds is a good idea. Um... Because I don't really want monarchy. I think we're done with war. So we either want theocracy, because our religion is pretty powerful actually. And getting uh, theocracy means we can faith buy stuff with, uh, with 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 faith faith buy stuff faith buy military units, which is good. Um, that was faith yield from holy site district buildings. Uh, all religious units plus five religious strength in a theological combat. That's pretty good. Um, wars of religion plus four combat strength when fighting civilizations that follow other religions, which is pretty much everybody right now. So that's actually pretty good as well. Um, I think I'd like theocracy, so I'm going to actually try and come up to this. Guilds, as I say, I don't think we're going to get the boost for that. So we may as well just hard research it right now. And then just try to work our way up to theocracy. As for moving into monarchy, we are currently 15 more turns away from another percent in uh, great people points, or we could possibly get plus two housing in any city with medieval walls. Yeah, okay, that's not going to happen for a minute. Bonus influence points, right? That's 20% just for here, which means it'll probably be 20 turns for one or two percent. I mean, 1% isn't really going to make a difference. If we were going to go monarchy, we'd have to do it a long time. But I think we will grab monarchy for now. It, it makes no sense not to, right? It does take away one of these, but otherwise everything's the same. Hmm. Renaissance, medieval, and industrial era, heavy and light uh, cavalry. We may as well pick that up because we are building that knight right now. Um, encampment and buildings for it. Amenities with a garrison unit. That could be good. Unit maintenance reduction, we are still only making plus 7 gold, that's pretty horrendous. So let's go ahead and grab that. Not that it's going to make us much gold. Um, yeah, we definitely still need this at the moment. I think we just go for the city strength, do we? All the production towards defensive buildings and we start building walls everywhere. That's definitely a possibility. Let's do that. We are making quite a bit more money actually now than we were. I suppose the, our navy probably counts as military units as well, does it? That would make excuse me, that would make sense. Um Yeah, you sit in the city for now. You are moving towards Baghdad, we're going to see how your spread actually works, if it properly eliminates. Although, look, 
Baghdad is no longer following Islam. That's excellent. Wow, okay. So let's just go... Wow, and this was four. It's now going down even more. It's gone down to two. Huh, interesting. Hmm, let's see what happens next turn. Maybe we won't need to use anybody over here at all. This apostle is fully healed. I'm thinking I send him to Adab for now. He's still got four converts, right? Four uses. So we can use him for one here, maybe. Do we even need to, though? That's the question. Is it going to flip back on its own? Probably. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that at the moment. Amsterdam and Philip are at peace. And somebody constructed the Colosseum. Well, we might have had the Colosseum if I'd have waited a little bit to attack a certain somebody. We can... Right, military engineering, yeah, right. So we're going to be working towards getting that aqueduct. That aqueduct will finish in four turns. Military engineering should finish when the aqueduct does, theoretically, right? Yeah. Although they seem to have gone out of sync a bit, because if I remember rightly, this was eight and this was through a four. Whereas this is now six and this is three. Uh, which means another two turns in this. And then we should research something else, I think. But we'll see if that actually touches, because if it doesn't, then... then we'll see, we'll, we'll, try and keep, we'll try and remember it, although I probably forget for an extra turn of research for no reason. But there you go. Really optimizing that properly, you can probably do really amazingly well. Right. So did Tomiris just try to spread her religion with me again? Was that not a broken promise? Apparently not. Tomiris? I can't discuss with you apparently, so... Huh, okay. Fine. Whatever. You... yeah, not enough housing here. Yeah, it's fine. Need more amenities over here. Yeah, I know that. Uh, we're probably going to try and get this cotton at some point. Probably, definitely. Uh, I want to hook up crabs. We're going to get loads and loads of crabs. Those crabs are good. Um, you can actually move into here. Even though it's telling me I can end turn. So. Spread religion. Just the ones. That suddenly got me five followers. So I'm guessing the pressure... This actually got converted? Wait, what? Huh. I'm not sure how this religion mechanic works properly. With the arrows and things. So for me, this says that, oh, the people here love Buddhism and they're really, really, like, Buddhism is taking a foothold. But at the same time, I've got to say, like, this is giving plus 17 faith produced for Gilgameshism, right? Hmm. Really going to have to look that up at some point. But whatever. Uh, so, two training posts created, so somebody finished those. What's this? My promise fulfilled. Ah, oh, right, so I can go and settle down here without her getting too arsy now. I mean, she probably won't like it, but she's not going to get uh, really upset. Look, he's Islamic. is everywhere. Wow. He really went for it, didn't he, old Saladin? Um, right, now I'd rather use you sort of quasi-defensively. So let's send you to Lagesh for now. Let's see what happens over there. And send you over here. Oh, is it Judaism that spread here? Cleo? Was that you? No, I don't think it was you. Yes, yeah, stop it. Stop converting me. Um, yes, make a trade route and 
Probably this one again, I think. Because it makes sense, right? Makes sense to me anyway. Stop this. I can purchase with faith. I'd rather not. Oh, it was a pagoda. Actually, then I probably do want to. Was it here, most likely? You can't purchase a pagoda, right? Because you haven't got a temple yet. Uh, you have a pagoda, and you have a pagoda. Ah, you can purchase a pagoda. And I think I will. Yes, there we go. Uh, you have a what? So I'm guessing you can never get a pagoda. Just a guess, mind. Might be worth sending a missionary over here to just sort of tip these, make sure they stay Gilgameshes. And I currently have four cities following my religion. Hmm. Well, this guy arrived. My apostles here as well. Hmm. Hello. society to emulate art, science? What don't you have? Okay, he likes me because I've got more art and science than he has. So that means my culture must not be doing as terribly as it was. Indeed it isn't. Which is very nice. Um, the more science intervenes in warfare, the more will be the need for engineers in the field armies. In the late war, there were never enough sappers at any time. Hmm, makes sense. Uh, that allows us to put military engineer and armory. Medieval era support unit requires an armory to produce, but can construct roads, forts, and airstrip improvements. Interesting. Um, now, capital. Eight turns till growth. And I think we'll build a workshop in that time. Workshop seems like a good idea. And after you've finished this, you'll also get a workshop. Let's get here. I want you to finish your shrine now. And then we really need to get your industrial zone going. Because, yeah. Because, because. Did you only get one here? Oh no, you got the two here. So. This is actually, yeah, two production it gives me, which isn't the best, but, you know, uh, better than nothing. And you've actually, yeah, so we don't need to build an armory, so let's go ahead six turns for gunpowder. We like gunpowder. This is missionary. Let's go ahead and spread here. See, that didn't convert me. It, in fact, only gave me one follow of my religion. Now, you'd think there'd be pressure over here from here, but... Oh no, this is uh, Buddhism as well, actually. Let's... I'll expend, I'll expend one more. Maybe it'll take away from Judaism and give to Gilgameshism. In which case, it would convert them. But it might not. But then I do have my apostle who has four uses left. So I'm probably going to send him to Chertomilk. Mlik. Her Tomlik, Tomlik, yeah, Tomlik. Mm, convert that over. Um, yeah, you come over here. Come here. I thought I was waiting for the turn to end. Apparently, I needed to move him. Need more housing. Somebody declared war on Barbarossa. Like a bull declared war on Barbarossa. I don't really believe that. What city-state declaring war on a main civilization? That makes no sense, right? I don't know. Odd. Um, you go ahead, spread again. Wasn't enough. <sighs> well, you spread. That was enough. But only enough to give me two out of four? Wow. That's really bad. I don't know, he's got three left here, right? Let's go send him. Well, let's just send. Well, we can't actually move him. Let's do it another time. Uh, we can get a missionary still. That's. I don't know. Got to got to work out this religious mechanic properly. Somewhat confused by it. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that already know all about it. I should probably just open up a web page and have a look at it and 
read through it for five minutes and I'll understand it perfectly well, but yeah. It's nice to try and work these things out on your own, I think. Um, but anyway, we'll look into that soon, I suppose. Kabul made peace with Amsterdam, that's nice. Egypt has been de uh, declared war on by Amsterdam. Strange. So this is just a load of people going to war, that's fine, I suppose. You come down here and go ahead and spread. Hostilizer is not welcome among my people. I must ask that you remove them immediately. I'm just going to ignore her. Uh, so this is now Jewish. Still Jewish, should I say. I have one follower here. That's good. Mm hmm. You. Um. Need a bit more faith. Granary or workshop. Doesn't actually give me any bonus at all. Whereas this would give me two production, which is lovely. 30 turns though. Uh, I think it's got to be Venetian Arsenal. Must be adjacent to an industrial zone, cannot be built on a lake, and must be built on a coast. Two engineer po engineering points and faith. Receive a second naval unit each time you train a naval unit. Oh wow, okay. That's quite good, um, but no. Well, let's get the workshop. I think that's fine. More declarations of war, and we'll go into the next turn. Yes, so they've got uh, wine down here. I'm going to use one more of this guy's um, charges over here, I think. You are coming to here. I'm going to use your last charge on this city here and see what happens. Because if I can convert these seven people, or quite a large amount of them at least, I'll be quite happy. Oh. What does this little heart mean? Oh, it's under siege. Okay, somebody's attacking Kabul. That's not the best thing in the world, I suppose. Um, you, yes, spread religion one more time. Still not enough? Apparently not enough, no. Right, well, we're not going to use his last charge, I don't think. And in fact, I'm not going to use your last charge over here, because by the looks of things, it's just not going to be enough. We have got another envoy. Um, Kabul would give us plus two production in the capital when producing a unit, right? Which is me. Okay, whereas Buenos Aires just gives us two production all the time. Oh, no, for wonders and buildings and districts. Okay. Um, but I think that's more what we're going to be building in the future. So let's go Buenos Aires first. Um, I mean, it could be worth getting Hong Kong as well. Getting them up to six, because that will increase all our industrial zones, of which we have a fair few now. So yes, let's do that. Production, 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 right? Promise broken to you. Uh, the Egyptians have converted something of mine somewhere. Where was it? I don't see it. Doesn't matter. Um, right, Mr. Apostle, you're just going to actually sit here, please. Sleep. And if something comes ich along... Und ob ihnen helft. I will Ach, destroy ich. my enemies, and if you continue to help them, I will destroy you as well. Okay, but who did I help? I've not helped anybody. I've not made any trade deals with anybody. I don't know. Germany getting a bit funny there. Ah, whatever. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put a cut in this episode. I hope everybody's enjoyed. If you have, please do hit the like button and uh, leave your comments down below for me to read. I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.